morning class. I hope that you are doing great right now because we are in the middle of pandemic and this is kind of dangerous. And before I'm going in front of class, I just need you all to be safe, stay healthy and protect yourself and your family from this pandemic. And if you and your family want to go out, just be careful and use masks every day because this pandemic is serious and critical. Now we're going to move into the class. Before that, I would like to ask you a few questions before I'm jumping into the material. Um, the first question I would like to ask is, have you ever received an offer or giving an offer before? Of course you do. And how do you respond to that? Did, all, did you all accepting it? Or did you all rejecting it? Okay, now move to the next question I would like to ask. Okay, um, the second question is, have you ever um, giving an advice before to someone or receiving advice from someone? And how do you feel? And how do you respond to that advice? Did you accept it? Or did you reject it? Okay. And uh, based on the question that I already asked, um, I think you know, and we all know that what we're going to learn and discuss about today. So the material for today is how we express ourselves with advice and offering, and how do we respond to that expression. Now let's jump into the material, shall we? Okay, now let's move to the first section of the material, which is um, offering expression. So what is offering expression? I already sent you the just a little bit summary in your phone right now to WhatsApp, but I'm just going to explain it a little bit about that. So expressing offering is happening when you are looking at someone and see that, oh, they look struggling and they need your help. Or in vice versa, someone look at you and you look struggling and it looks like you need help from them. Example expression is like this. Hmm. You look struggling there. Can I help you with those packages? Yeah, that's the expression of offering, right? But now, there's, like I say, there's two options. To how do we respond to that? The first option is accepting the offer. So it's going to be like this. Um, oh, sure, yeah. This package is like 100 kilograms and I can't even pick it up. Thanks for the help though. And that's how we respond to that if we accepting the offer. But how about if we rejecting the offer? So it's going to be like this. Uh, yeah, sorry, but I can't, I think that I, I, I can pick it up myself, but thanks for the offer though. And if you are confused, why would I say thanks, even though I rejecting the offer, it's because it just, for me, it's being polite. I mean, they are offering you a help, and the best thing that you could do if you're rejecting it is respect the offer by saying, oh yeah, thank you for, for your offer though. Simple. Now. If you still understand that, I would like to give you an example, but right now in form of um, conversation. So, if I'm standing here right now, I will be A. And if I'm standing right here, right here, this one, okay, I'm gonna be a B. So, this is the conversation. Hey, what's wrong, B? What's wrong with that side face? Uh, Okay, so I just heard that my parents, a few days ago, my parents um, being sent home from work, you know, cut their contract because as pandemic going on, they cannot keep up with the workers, so they need to cut their contract. And right now, my family is struggling with the rent since my parents both stopped working, and I don't know how much we can handle the situation. Oh, 
sorry to hear that. Um, did I need you lend me some money? I can offer you some money if you want. Uh, no thanks. I think that um, I think that by giving uh, by receiving some money, a uh, free money, is not great for me. But thanks for the offer though. Now pause. Before I uh, continue to the expression, I would like to say something. In the conversation as we speak, you can see that uh, A offering B a free money, I mean like for helping their parents' economy. But B said no, because he thinks that uh, the free money is not great for them. That's why he just reject the offer. That's the kind of expression that I would like to talk about with you guys. Now, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna continue the conversation. Please pay attention carefully, okay? Oh, okay. If you don't want uh, free money from me, how about this? My brother is really sucked at math. When I tell you he sucks at it, he really sucks at it. He really bad at math. He never achieved like five scores, so. Can you give him a tutor? Because I knew that you are really great at math and my parents will love to give you money just giving him a tutor. Oh, really? Yeah, I kind of great at math and I can teach your brother. I think I'm going to take the offer. Thank you for the offer, A. You're welcome, B. Now pause again. So, because of the first offer being rejected, now A giving the second offer, which is um, giving be a job to become a math tutor for his little brother and be accepting it because he loves a hard work money okay now let's start with the second section of this class for today which is um, expression of advice expressing of advice is happen when you give an opinion to someone, or vice versa, someone give an opinion to you. And now it's up to you or them, whether you or them accepting it or rejecting it. But how did we do that in a polite and minor way based on English? Okay, I'm going to give you an example on expression first. Uh, Kelly, I think that your triplet twin sister are already sleeping, so you can work on your homework right now. Because I don't make a noise anymore. Now, for this expression, as you can see that this is the expression of advice. Now, Kelly can choose two options. Whether she can receiving the advice or rejecting the advice. Okay. If Kelly accepting the advice, she can say like this. Oh, sure, ma'am. I will do my homework now. Thanks. But if Kelly rejecting the advice, she would say like this. No, ma'am. I'm in the middle of my uh, group work with my classmate online, so I'm going to do my homework later on. But thanks for the, uh, letting me know, ma'am. And that's the example of how we are rejecting an advice. Just like the previous expression, we can say thanks at the end, like, oh, thanks for letting me know, or thanks for giving advice for me. Even though we are rejecting it, we respect that opinion or advice, so we can say thanks. Okay, if you may be so confused, I'm going to explain it the example, but this time, like the previous, the previous section, I'm going to explain it the example using a dialogue conversation. Uh, and then the question is the same. If I'm standing here, I'm A. And I'm saying, if I'm standing here, I'm going to be. But I'm going to it. If I'm speaking too fast, I'm sorry. If I'm standing here, I will be as A. But if I'm standing here, I will be as B. Okay. Yeah. Listen to the conversation carefully, okay? Uh, B, can you give me an advice for my problem right now? Oh, sure, A. What's up? I'm all ears. Uh, can you tell me what happened? Um, I don't know how to put this, but my mother is a victim of my abusive father. 
and I literally helpless because I don't know what to do with them because I'm still a kid and if I don't tell others people I don't know what to do anymore and I just can't imagine what happened to my mom if I don't do do something sooner oh sorry to hear that um can you reach out to your family member maybe getting help so the problem can be resolved no i don't think so my my father is really like the authority you know like the highest authority in our family so they will not say anything maybe and from the past accident they just letting it go pause before i'm going to continue the, uh, the conversation that's the example of giving an advice giving an advice and receiving advice so giving an advice like the a uh, the b say um how about you reach out to your family member and then b say oh no because my family member is scared of B's father. So he, uh, the B say, propose, and uh, not propose, um, rejecting the advice. But now move to the conversation. Move, uh, I mean, continue the conversation. Okay, but how about um, you reach out to the authority? I mean, your father could be on jail if someone finds out your father abusive to your mother. I could help you if you want, if, if you want help to reach out to them. You you made it, eh? You want to help me? Okay, I'm gonna tell authority. Please, uh, thanks for the advice, eh? You're welcome. Now, uh, based on the conversation that just happened now, um, the B say that I'm sorry. B giving a second advice, which is calling authority for help. And A said yes, because oh yeah, maybe they can do that. So A in here accepting an advice. Unlike before, B uh, giving advice about, you know, uh, reaching a family member, A reject me by saying no because the father is the authority there okay okay after the material already finished now i would like to give uh, i would like to open some discussion okay i think the time is already up because yeah so i think i already been discussed this a lot in the material that I gave you and explain and then we have already have a group discussion as we speak just now so what I want you to do now is that is your homework by the way is pay a uh, find a pair in your in your class and then create two short dialogue just two short dialogue the first short dialogue cons consists of expressing an offer with the response and the second short dialogue will consist of expressing advice and how it responds. And then you write it on a paper and then send it to me through Google Classroom. And then after that, you need to record your conversation in a video, in, in a video format, so I can see you practicing the conversation you made. Okay, I think that's all the material for today. Uh, thank you for your time to be here. And I just hope that we can see each other face to face sooner, soon after the pandemic is gone and Miss Corona stop world tour. Okay, I think that's all. Stay safe, stay healthy with your family and good morning.